need to understand that obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to obey than to show sacrifice. It's better to obey. You know, let me just tell you only one illustration. Obedience uh, that I'm talking about is just like a like a kind of a assessment you need in your school to qualify for your promotion. Do you understand? Before you be promoted, you will surely experience a separation of demand. I usually say like that. Amen. So without, without, uh, what do we call it? Without a uh, examination, there's no way you can be promoted. Am I right? Amen. So therefore, have that in mind. Do what is your own part. Your part is to obey. And then leave the rest for God. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. All of us, that's all what we need. Sometimes obedience may seem as if no reward. Obedience may be as if no, nobody recognizes you, nobody appreciates you. But never mind. The importance is you obey God. Do you understand? But still you obey. God Himself is His highs can see everything in every place. Nothing is hidden to him. Do you understand? So automatically, he himself will reward you. Amen. 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 Do them my point. So you better pay your tithes and you do it. Why? He will reward you. Amen. Amen. But you say, oh, no, no, I won't pay anything. The same thing. Do you understand? Amen. Amen. So yours is to obey. God bless you, everybody. Thank you. Those of you who have ability to buy start, send start to this page. That's a, one of the ways you can support the work of God. And God will reward you and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, all those things. Some will say, I know man, I have due cash. I have bank card. I can buy stuff, but I won't buy away. But last year, like whatever they say. You understand? But you don't know. It may be just that one step God wants you to do to bring forth your stand in life. You understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary, my beloved daughter. God bless you. The Lord will reward you. The Lord will bless you in return. Amen. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? We don't know. I have experienced it plenty of time. All of you have had testimony from me many, many times. Right? That's it. I have been to a place that this was some way to be the servant of God. And then the Lord told me to keep the last money in my hand. I can never forget. I visited my senior pastor. And when I got there, before I got there, I have a challenge. My enemy have some Utan to pay, and that Utan is almost 4000 I don't know how I'm going to pay that money. But I was just talking with him and he told me that, come, come and visit me there. I said, I said, okay, I will come. So I visited him. He's very rich. All those little money I, I'm, I'm afraid of, I'm bought out. So it's nothing to him because he's already rich. You understand? So automatically, what do I supposed to think as a human being? I suppose to say, ah, this is opportunity, I will tell him my need, I will ask him money, you know? But when I get there, I never ask him anything. I just say, Lord, give me grace to, to receive a miracle today. And when I say like that, I thought maybe God will tell him to give me money. But God didn't tell him to give me money. But what God told me is that the money in your hand, give it to him. And the only money in my hand that time is only 50. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I, well, Lord, let the will be done. So I gave him the 50. After that, I left. And I got home, I was surprised. And thank you, I a pastor, I joined God bless you, man of God. I was surprised. They told me that there's a certain rich man who came to look for me. And I knew that man, but I cannot imagine that he's coming to be looking for me. When might this man come and look for me? So I, after that, he came back again. Pastor, I've been looking for you. I just want to give you this envelope. God bless you. 
I cannot imagine. I didn't tell the man that I need money. When I opened the envelope, you know how much I found it. Oh, thank you, Lord, for buying stars as well. Keep shining your star. I remember the prayer of my son. Amen. God bless you. Keep shining. Amen. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? When I opened the, when I opened the envelope, I found 10,000 I'm looking for how to get 4,000. I give just only 50. After that, I receive an envelope of 10,000. So sometimes, your obedience can change your life. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Your obedience, it may not be only in the area of money. It may just be obedience, go and do that work. And let me tell you, the way you obey, will determine the way you will get to the world of obedience. I will explain that to you. I tell you, okay, go and buy that one. And the way you are going to start with Yahweh Yahweh along the road. Mm, I know they will send me. I know they will send me. I might not let the light is about life. One no one don't want to say this, so go, so go, so go, so go. Well, your reward, Melana. Krishna. Do you understand what I'm saying? Obedience must be heartedly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hold heartedly. Something you just do it willingly. You do it joyfully. Nobody forces you to do it. But because you have an obedience that you just want to follow God, you just want to serve God, automatically, God himself will reward you. Yeah. Even when nobody is removed, God can go and raise anyone to reward you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Angel can appear like a human being to reward you. Master, you know, some obedience you may not see the reward of it now. It may be after one year. But this obedience can be after five years, ten years of suffering. That's what people don't know. You understand? That's what people don't know. Don't know. Now, some people can't know it. Am I not even love my kid a boy? I'm not love a boy. Yeah, pastor may not love a boy. Pastor may not love a boy. The parents may not love a boy. Because they know that if they say it will become a problem. But one day, you are the one to cry. I have told you people many times. Amen. 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 One day. One day. Nobody will join you to suffer the pain. Nobody. Amen. In life, father can never suffer the pain of a child. Have you ever seen any country that a, a child commits a crime and then they go and arrest the father? It's not possible. The one who committed the crime is the one to pay the price. The same thing in the kingdom. No. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. The same thing. There's no way they will say that. Ah, uh, that's, that's a uh, matter of this So, God will, God will, that Pope, uh, pastor, or a pastor. No, no, no. Our own role as a Christian leader is to tell you what is right. God bless you, the name of the Lord, so God bless you, Pastor David. Our own role is to tell you this is what is right. This is the way. Don't choose that way. Obey. Okay. After that, if you obey, it's up to you. If you disobey, it's up to you. But it doesn't take a long time before the result will show. Just in a moment, in a few days after, few months after, some of the disobedience, you can do it and feel that you are enjoying. Because in the beginning, it will look like enjoyment. I tell you, because it cannot be less than one year. I mean, less than one year, you will start to see your reward. You start to know that you did wrong. Am I talking to you? Mm -hmm. So that is why most important issues, the Bible says, if they obey, they will spend their years, their years in prosperity. Their years. They are the mm -hmm. And I love that word so much. It's one of my favorite passages in the Bible. It doesn't say if they will be on the, it says if they serve him and obey him. You do obey and serve. 
So it's combination of requirement of less of us writing is of less. So both of it must go together. Okay, I'm not for me. Even if I don't obey them, I start and serve God and the serving God. Serving God without obedience is not complete. You understand? Mm-hmm. And when you obey God, you have to serve God also. Both of it has to go together. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then you see the reward of God. Obey, serve, serve, obey. The two must go together. And it shall be well with you. Mm-hmm. Let's quickly open our mouth and say, Father, Father, help me, help me. In my life journey, mm-hmm. in my walking with you, mm-hmm. help me, Jesus, that no spirit of disobedience mm-hmm. will enter my life mm-hmm. all the days of my life. Help me, O Lord, mm-hmm. to make obedience mm-hmm. my choice mm-hmm. in this life, mm-hmm. in this Christian race, in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus. You know, many people have been obeying God in last moment, but because of their character of disobedience, disobedience, last moment they used to pay. You understand? Last moment. Some have been serving God. Some can tell story. I am the elder. I am the pastor of this church for many, many years. But yet, no show of this. Such a person can lose the kingdom of God. Only those who will obey to the end shall be saved. Do you understand? Help me, Jesus, to obey your Lord, to follow you all the days of my life. Do you know, let me tell you, sorry, before you pray. Do you know the reason why we are praying for him? We like to know. The reason why we are praying is that it's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. You need to invite that Spirit to serve. Spirit of obedience. Spirit of obedience. Because anybody who has spirit of disobedience, like what mommy told us that time, if you like preach fire, you will still disobey. Because it's a bad spirit staying inside. You understand what I'm saying? Father, help me. Father, help me. Let the spirit of obedience dwell in me. In this my Christian journey, help me, Jesus, that I will never be a disobedient child. Disobedient what? Child. Disobedient child. The Bible says that is the spirit that we walk in the life of people, in the end time, the book of Colossians. It's a, in the, it's a spirit that will work in the life of disobedience, which God is not happy with. In the life of what? Disobedience. Look at what is going on all over the world now. I was looking at it. Look at it. You see, you see, Mahababai, they just want to display their body anywhere now. I show you one on the eh, on the Facebook recently. So if mm-hmm. I go and if I go and record this private uh, part and post it for Amavira, does it make sense? That's Buan. Is it a civilian spirit? You know what I'm saying? some of you saw the, there was a time they make a post on Facebook and beside us up and you in the name of they are almost seven. Eh? Is it seven or ten? They are making game. But they're like that. Bye bye, it's a land. No, nothing they wear. No panting, no bra, nothing. And they are making it as a game. They fall online. All of them. And they are laughing. Minky. Minky, you think by Jude? Me in there now. Am I talking to you? So we need to know what we are doing. This is end time. Satan has removed their shame. Satan has what? Removed their shame. Don't join them. You are not of this world. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Yeah. You understand? Know Obey God. I look at it. Why am I the Lalaki didn't do that? Ask yourself question. Why Lalaki didn't 
Ah, why Lalaki didn't wear rubbish? You see the Lalaki and the Asawa, they grew up together. The Asawa would display Toto, he display Lobo. The, the Lalaki would dress nicely. Ah, why did Lalaki also don't do that? Because we're in the end, Satan knew the one that he will use to attack others. You understand? So be wise. Be wise. Be wise. Don't disobey God. Don't follow them. Don't say, okay, I'm man. God is a, is a God of mercy. I can do whatever I like. No real surprise. Landed in hell fire. No, no, no remedy. No remedy. No remedy. Finish my remedy. God bless you. God bless my daughter. Help me, Jesus. Let the spirit of obedience dwell in me all the days of my life. Help me, Jesus, that the end time spirit that is called disobedient spirit will never have chance in my life. All the days of my life. Pray, 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 somebody. All right, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name for your word. Thank you because you love us to keep on calling our attention to obey you so that no one of us will perish. Help us, O oh Lord, the spirit of obedience will dwell in us all the days of our life as we reject the spirit of disobedience. In the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of obedience be inside us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the only days in Africa, this is the last one I was saying anyway. People are Hunta. You know Hunta? Hunta. 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 Amen. So, because Africa is full of uh, white animals, right? so in those days, that's what they are using to make money. You understand? In those days, that's what people are using to do what? Make money. As long as you know how to kill animal in the bush, you just play in the palenque, you buy it with a big money, you have money. So the people who are on those years, they used to be proud of themselves. Their children used to enjoy, the family used to enjoy because every I remember one one brother in our in our hometown, he was a soldier, military. He moved out of military and become hunter. Because the money is getting in the hunter is bigger than what is the of the military of him. You understand? He will just go within within few hours already get more than more than twenty bush animal. You understand? And all everybody waiting for him every day to be Bali, Bali care for everyone. And we'll be happy to buy it. You understand? But what are they using to work? I just want to say something there. Is that they all have dogs. Dogs is what they usually use. Those dogs, they're like a, one person will have like five dogs or four dogs. They will put something in the neck of that dog. Those dogs like a bell that will be pro, 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 like sound. But they will know where that dog is. You understand? Okay. And whenever they, they, they move into the bush, because we go into very wide one, so when they move, the purpose of the dog is that to, the dog will smell where are the wild animal. So when the dog is smelling, the hunter carry the gun and be following the dog. So the dog will be going in the front. But number two is that if the animal, if the man shot the animal and the, his ego man, and then the animal wants to 